hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome as well today's video is a fun totally new type of look for me i had so much fun making this video i do hope you enjoy please keep watching Hey guys, so let's jump right in. I am starting off this hairstyle with properly washed, cleaned, moisturized hair. <laughs> um, so for this style, I'm going to separate my hair down the middle and down the middle again. So I'm separating my hair basically in two halves, front and back. And I am separating the front into two halves as well. So I am dividing my hair further into a few more sections. I am using each half of the front and I am subdividing it into triangles as you will see here. I am using the separation in the center, my center part, as the measuring point so that I can further subdivide each section, each side, into three equal triangles. They will not be um, completely equal, but we try to get them equidistant. Um, and as I separate each triangle, I am pinning it down. So I do this to both sides of the front of my hair. And then I'm going to move to the back. I purchased these metal clips online, I think. Um, I got them from Amazon, but they do sell them at your local beauty supply or your local beauty store, whichever um, is more convenient to you. But um, I did get mine online. I will put the link in the description if I can find it. Um, I prefer to use crab clips instead of the flat clips. But I did not have enough crab clips to go around. So I had to use the metal clips instead. For this um, separation, I would advise you to use a rat tail comb or a pick comb. Any comb with a slim tail, something that enables you to separate um, your hair without having to go in multiple times. Although I do go in multiple times just to make sure that I get my lines as straight as possible. I am a bit of a perfectionist, so um, this is very difficult without the use of multiple mirrors, but I am doing my best since I am trying to... Um, make this work and film at the same time But my recommendation would definitely be to use multiple mirrors so that you could see um, Your separations from different angles to ensure that your lines are straight That being said um, I do want to point out that your lines do not need to be completely straight it doesn't have to be completely perfect because as you will see the um separation is going to be hidden to a certain extent once i put the braiding hair in so um yeah it doesn't have to be perfect Trying to separate the back of your hair really is a bad feeling your way through. 
especially if you are not using multiple mirrors and you cannot see so your hands are your best bet feeling the separation to see if it feels a straight that's what i did also i initially started with straight lines but then i went back in and switched it up and decided to put like a zigzag um in the back because why not if we're going to um, replicate a hairstyle that has been around for eons we might as well add you know add an authentic element to it to make it our own um personalize it why not So for the front, I am not using any gel. I do not like using gel or holding spray, especially if the holding spray is something that is going to give me a firm hold. Because one, I find it very difficult to get it out of my hair afterward. And two, this hairstyle is only going to be one for one day. I am basically just filming to show you how I would do Bantu knots if I was doing it with braiding hair. So this hairstyle is only going to be one for one day, so I am not using any gel or holding spray. However, if you plan to do this hairstyle and you want to keep it in for more than one day, um, yes, definitely use gel or holding spray. It does look neater as well, so I guess it's a matter of personal choice. The braiding hair I'm using is... Um, from the brand expressions and I'm using the color 1B 1B <laughs> which is black um, my own hair has some color to it so that does make the hairstyle a bit more interesting um, yeah so the technique is to twist the braiding hair apply it around my own bantu twist it around and then secure it with a bobby pin so I'm going to show you this a lot more slowly. Get your braiding hair, twist it, feed it underneath your own bantu, the bantu that you made with your own hair. Now I am feeding it underneath the bobby pin that is securing my own bantu. Then I'm going to twist the braiding hair until I get to the end of it. I'm going to secure the end with a rubber band. Then I am going to twist the braiding hair in, in circles around my own bantu. And when I get to the end, I am going to push it underneath the bantu. And then for further security, I'm going to pin it with a bobby pin. I know a lot of people have aversions to using bobby pins um, so alternatively you could use hair ties or ponytails however you call it based on your culture um, but I prefer to use bobby pins than hair ties because I do not like the bulk that having a ponytail gives um, to that hairstyle it's already bulky and to me putting a ponytail over it is just not my personal preference so, do you.
I did use some edge control to make sure that my edges are a bit more um, refined. <laughs> this is the Argan Oil Edge Control. It is not any brand that I am particularly partial to. It's just what I have at the moment. So that's what I used. I also used some foam wrap to um, smooth everything down. And then I am using some crepe paper to tie the front of my hair to make sure that everything is nice and slick and well laid. Then I go in with some um, sheen and spray my hair, all of my hair. So I let this paper sit on my edges for a few minutes and once I feel like everything has been laid, I remove it and that's it. We did it guys, we did it. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that I should probably put some jewels in there. I do have these um, beads. I'm not sure how I'm going to put them in. Woo! But I kind of want to put a couple in there. So let's see what we come up with. <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. Thank you guys. I will see you in the next one.